Right, okay, so what have we got here? I'll keep uh, pressing the on off button on the uh, phone. Amateur. Right, so, soldering kit. Bought that off uh, Amazon or eBay, one or two. These, this is all the stuff I'm going to need to do the electrical connectors, hopefully. Okay, so quick run for it. Soldering kit. Crimpers and strippers. Uh, some normal leaky tape and some uh, cable ties if needed. Uh, heat shrink tubing, obviously to cover the wires and then uh, obviously shrink that around just to make it all nice and waterproof. Uh, 10 gauge yellow wire to come from the reg rack down to the stapler and this is the 10 gauge positive and negative to do the new uh, hard wire for the, the loom going straight to the battery. Some uh, battery connectors, a little bit of heat shrink there to cover the edges. Yeah, what are we? Right, okay, so 30 amp fuse. Now, this is what this is, is self, self resetting fuse. So it's not a physical fuse. That goes in between, obviously, the positive uh, from the reg rec to the uh, battery positive. So, never used one of these before. See somebody else do it. So, yep, gonna try that. So, if it does trip, it resets. Okay. Now, obviously, where I'm cutting off some wires and one thing or another. Um, I bought myself a pack of these, for, this is more experiment, 4 pin plugs because obviously what I want to try and do is uh, use those old positive negative cables I'm making redundant and turn them into something else you, so you can plug something else into it, uh, heat grips or something else anyway but there's a, basically there's a live, live positive there anyway. Okay, now these are the heat shrink connectors so join the connectors up crimp them put a bit of heat on them make them nice and tight and waterproof and they are uh, what's it saying there 10 10 to 12 gauge so that's adequate for the wiring what I've got okay this is all new to me so yeah let's go bit of uh, improvising now I see the reason I'm doing this soldering the ends of the wire is just to make a good contact so cuts down on resistance well that's what I've been told and it appears to work for everyone else so now I haven't soldered anything since I was a kid and I'm gonna be very focal glasses now so it does make it a little bit easier right so that's that one but I'm gonna move on to the negative wire Okay, now that's good enough for the minute. So, on to the next job. 
Okay, already done one, just the speed, plus I just wanted to check it off camera as well. Um, put a little bit too much solder on that one to get it into said hole. So, rework this one, just put a little bit of solder on just to knit it all together so it goes on easier. So, we'll just fit that in now. So, that's where I want to be. So, a little bit of a gap there because we're going to put some solder in there just to make sure we get a you know stop that resistance build up and everything to make sure that's nice gonna need crimping together as well probably should have got a better crimping tool actually because this is quite well it's quite tough stuff actually it's a uh, copper tin so gonna give it a couple of squeezes together Okay, that should do. Don't want to pull on the two hard lock because I don't want to waste these. It's in, it's okay, but just get a bit of solder in there now. And then what we should do is get a bit of bring these heat sleeves up, get the hot air gun on it or a lighter, whatever you got, Andy. Gives it a waterproof seal then. Okay. Okay, more soldering. Does take a lot to be desired. I think that will do for that one. I'll give it a shot in a minute. Okay, next job, let's get the heat sleeves done. Okay, let's just move that one out for a minute, warm this up. Well, we'll let that cool down, check it out in a minute. Okay, I think they're pretty good. I mean, they've done what they should have done. You can see how they shrunk down pretty well. It's quite a tough little bit of plastic as well. However, it didn't quite pinch against the wire how I wanted it to. So what I've just done is put a bit of a electrical tape at the end of it, just to seal them in a little bit better. I'm not anticipating them seeing any wet weather at all or anything, but you never know, condensation, whatever. I don't want any damp moisture getting in into these terminals at all. As with anything underneath there, at the risk of shorting out again because that's just a hole of a ball lake. So that's that, that's that done. Um, obviously the other ends have got to be done, but this, uh, this red wire, the positive, I've got to split that in half and um, fix the 30 amp um, trip connector on it. So that's what I should do. I won't bore you with that, I'll just show you the finished product and with the, well that's gonna be hardwired anyway, so that's a different connection on the end there, but I should just uh, split that and solder the ends as well, but gotta do this connection. But like I say, I'll show you the end piece, the black wire, which is just fell on the floor. 
obviously that's just going to be hardwired again into the reg rec so I should just take a piece off solder the end go from there okay so got that wire cut pretty short at the minute so got all this spare well not spare we'll be using some of that but it's always good to keep anyway because it's actually going to be from the battery terminal to the circuit breaker it's actually a short distance and uh, what I've just noticed is my little battery guard well which keeps the battery down uh, a couple of little pins here was going to the frame jiggered so I'm gonna have to work something out anyway this has got a little fixing bracket so which actually is pretty much damn it lines up with those holes there as you can see okay which also fits nicely in the battery box area just keeps everything neat so the idea is short distance onto the positive okay and then negative blah 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 um, actually it's not negative because on there positive in positive out so yeah bear with me um, yeah so when that all connects in it'll be nice and neat okay so that's the plan so that's that got to do a bit of a jiggery poker and probably get some new well, I don't know if I'll be able to replace them but there'll be something there's crap load of stuff out there I think you can even get some down Alfred's anyway rambling just got to solder that pop that on connect to there that's that part done okay so that's where we're at with it first bit we've done all the connectors heat shrunk bit of tape around there now I'll see this is a little plastic shield to keep all this nice and clean so direct from the battery into here circuit breaker and then I'll just wrap this up I'm not too sure how much of this I'm gonna need at a minute however we're all good to go okay so it just remains to put this little plastic cap on just had to make a few little adjustments a few little slits with a Stanley knife if you're a bit of a fumble a lot of me I'll take after my dad There we go, seals it up, it's not airtight or anything, you can breathe in there, like I say that's going to clip to that, then hopefully go into the battery box area, a little bit tight in there, these are quite tough copper tin connectors so I can't really sort of bend them or manipulate them so it's going to have to be a bit of messing about in the box when, when I get it in there but cross that bridge when I get to it, just need to measure up how much I need now to go to not a lot really, probably about the same amount again, just cut it off and uh, fit it to the old connection.